Bleh. Ooh. Mm. Aha. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm ooh. Bla 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 bla. Ooh. Ah. Okay, if you might wonder what I am doing with this. Well, when I installed my ceiling fan, I told everyone that I absolutely was going to get one of these. This is a ceiling fan remote Wi-Fi kit with dimmer that I got off of Amazon, which you can see the link in the description of specifically where I got it. Honestly, I should be making money off of this, this crap because I'm always telling people how good this stuff is that I'm finding. Anyways, so I'm going to be installing a Wi-Fi controller so that way my phone and hopefully I can even get my stream deck hooked up to it. I've already got my stream deck hooked up to uh, my lights or whatever. I just click this and uh, oh, the Wi-Fi controller is not hooked up. So how would I turn on the lights? Uh, so what do you get with inside this box? Uh, I forget what the cost of this was, but it actually wasn't that expensive. Uh, relevant price will be located in the link to Amazon while I try to not be retarded. So this will be a quick video, I hope, installing this. You get some wire nuts, um, looks like you got some uh, drywall screws here, whatever, and the beef of the product here. The most important part of all your packaging is the bubble wrap. I'm going to be playing with this for hours. So what comes in, included in the package? Well, you've got a remote that is in a Ziploc bag that wasn't sealed. Hooray! Now I've got another form of uh, whatever sickness is going around. Here's the remote. You got a two hour timer, one hour, one hour, four, eight hours. You got your lights, your dimmer. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Stop the fan low, medium high. In order to set this remote, to uh, learn the fan, you first turn the receiver off by flicking off the light switch so that way the fan has no power, the Wi-Fi thing doesn't work, nothing works. Flick it on, wave up, and while uh, you're doing that, I think it's like uh, five seconds or whatever, you hold the light button and the high button for, yeah, you hold this for five seconds and it will program itself to the module. Got this little thing, clips in there. Hook this on the wall if you feel like it. Uh, fair warning for anyone that actually asked this question. No, it absolutely does not come with batteries. Purchase your own. Looks like there are uh, these double A's, oh, triple A batteries go into the remote. Now, I will not be re really using this remote at all because I bought this whole thing to work with my phone. This is the wireless adapter, fan lamp controller. Now it's fairly easy. You can uh, skip the installation part if you feel like it, but uh, the other thing that comes in this box is the instructions. I will go through everything. We got a lot of Q&A questions here. I will go through everything on how to do all this, but if you uh, would like, I'll explain how this works. Basically pretty simple. Your white wire goes to the white wire in your fan, your neutral wire. The red wire goes to the black wire in the, uh, the ceiling part, not the fan, sorry. For what's in the box or the receptacle or the ceiling fixture, whatever you want to call that thing, white wire goes to white, this red wire will go to your black wire. There is a diagram in here in case you need that. I will show you for the sake of safety. This, yes, you can see it all right here. Fairly simple. Goes to the black wire, goes to the white wire from the ceiling. Now, the actual fan components, you've got this wire, don't play with. This is your antenna wire. It is labeled antenna on it. If for the best reception possible, 
you would want this antenna wire to be outside the canopy. So you mount this thing somewhere in there and uh, you leave the wire outside the fan. But make sure the wire is not long enough to actually be hitting the fan blades because that's probably not a good thing. Your black wire goes to the motor. Please note, this can only uh, handle a uh, one, one amp motor. Uh, maybe 1.5. Let me check that. Oh, motor amps, one amp. If, if you can find out how many amps your fan uses, the actual part with the blades, not the lights and stuff, the motor itself can only handle one amp. So please keep that in mind. Otherwise you might have a fire or something else or you blow this up. So the black wire hooks up to the fan motor. The light, the actual lights, if your fan has it, if you don't have lights, then just uh, tape this part off. For the lights of the fan, the blue wire goes to that and the white wire goes to the white wire. Uh, usually it's connected to the motor and your lights are also connected to the motor, but the white wire is pretty uh, universal sitting in there. You're only gonna have the one. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You just hook up the wires, hide this all. I will walk you through the uh, steps on doing that, and then I will explain how to set it up on your phone uh, and a little bit on the network. Tools that you'll be requiring at this point is a screwdriver. Uh, they did include all the wire nuts and everything, but I will only need a few of them. First thing is you take off two of the screws for your canopy. The other two screws you don't take off, you just gotta loosen them. You turn the canopy a little bit and just drop it and there's all the wires that you need to get to. Before or when you get to this step, the power is turned off to all this. Pull your excessive amount of wires out and gently get to your main power, your black wire. There we go. And then make then you free your neutral wire, which in most cases should be white, but let's face it, people don't like to follow code and the rules. It happens. Once to that part, I like to work on the neutral side first, so that way power can find its ground before it finds me. That's uh, my little rule, whenever possible. Now, in some cases, you might need to strip these wires out a little bit farther, depending on your scenario. I figured out something while I was finagling with this. There's not much room to work with. So make sure that you put your uh, your wires through the top here and it should give you enough room after you shove the uh, your red and white wires back in their respective hole. Make sure everything, I'm just working in such a tight space here. It's just very hard to work with. So my white wire is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my black with the red. Make sure that's on there good and tight. And then use all your collective muscle to shove all those wires back up there. But they need to be up as high as possible. And once they are out of your way 100%, you can take this module and you shove it in here as far as you can get it. All right, that's kind of locked there in place. Uh, I'm not so much worried about the length of these wires because the canopy will uh, cover up most of that. At this time, you can grab your included wire nuts, immediately drop them on the floor. 
Again, I like working with my white wire first. So that way if any accidents happen, power can go somewhere that's not me. Yeah. All right, white wire is done. Blue wire for the lights. Also, not only does your light switch have to be on all the time for this module to work, you also need to make sure that your pull chain for both your lights and your fan blades are set to on and high. Otherwise, this thing doesn't really control much, you know, does it? Last but not least, Mr. Blackwire. Now there's your installation. Make sure the antenna is sticking out of the canopy. Grab your wires, make sure everything be nice and as neat as possible. Could probably cut these wires down, but I really don't want to for future projects. Ooh, tight, tight fit. Glad I got the smaller of the two modules. That's in. Antenna wire hanging out. Required screwdriver. Wow, how do I hate popcorn ceilings. First thing you gotta do is you gotta go to your app store, whether it's your Apple or whatever the case may be go ahead and uh download smart life you can just search that pretty easily you click open you agree to the thing and then you have to log in uh i am located in the united states of the america and uh all right once you download everything made the account you have to uh then you can uh like make a uh like my home or whatever, but I couldn't get the uh, add device, I couldn't get it to uh, scan whatsoever. And as I was reading, I'm gonna go ahead and set the thing to manual pairing mode. And the only way you can really do that is by cycling the power five times with one second intervals in between. So we're gonna see how that works. Okay, it took me a little bit to figure this out. All you gotta do is grab the remote, put some batteries in it, hold the high and the light dimmer button on for five seconds make sure that little light's flashing okay uh supposedly this will do that to the fan and you're like what am i doing go over to your light switch and turn it off and then turn it back on Now you see how the light's flashing? That is indicating to me that we are in pairing mode. Some devices have little buzzers in them or something, I don't know. Go ahead and click add device and there is my fan. Go ahead and add that. Expose my uh, internet right there. Type in your password and then click next. Once you've done that, you wait for the device to add itself, I guess. Um, if you are anything like me and you have a network that has a lot of security on it, disable um, some of that security. Now that we're done with that, we've got a whole bunch of weird things going on. Oh, look at that, fan switch. Low. I don't know if you, you can't really see it or anything, but. Oh, okay, that sets the time. We don't want the timer. We got the speed on max. I don't want the speed on max. We got the light switch. Very nice. We can set the brightness. I mean, these LEDs are really dimmable, but kind of. Eh. Go to 100%. I'm recording stuff. Uh, voice control. We're going to have to set that up with the, the Google Home Assistant. Um, 
Yeah, you got to add the device in that. Um, I'll get to that in just a second. But that's basically it. Um, now I just have to... Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, offline notifications. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I want that turned on. To avoid constant notifications, the devices stay offline for over 30 minutes, 8 hours. I got it. Okay. Uh, device information. This is the information I want. I'm going to blur the living crap out of this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get into the uh, fan settings here, and I'm going to add Google Assistant. Link with my Google Assistant. Home control. Good. Agree to the link. Do, 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 do. If you already have a Google Home account, this makes it very easy. If you don't, then me. Uh, smart fan and what the heck is smart fan? Uh, add a room. Add a custom room. I know. Custom room name. C P U fan. This device has been added to your home. Alrighty. Yep, and there's my uh, previously installed uh, Grovy switch. Uh, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, Google. Turn off my fan light. Success! Let me turn up the volume. Okay, Google. Turn on my fan light. All right, turning smart fan switch underscore LED on. Why does it say LED? Whatever. Okay, Google. Turn off my fan. Sorry, I'm not sure which my fan you'd like to turn off. <laughs> I'll figure this out. Just adding this in, the reason why I couldn't control the actual fan speeds uh, with the Google Home app is because uh, you need to add all three of those. The smart fan button is for everything, turns off everything. So, you know, like if I click that, it turns off the fan, turns off the lights, everything. If you click on the uh, smart fan switch LED, that turns off only the lights or you can adjust the brightness or whatever. If you click smart fan switch, that one, um, basically it's only on and off in Google Home. However, by adding it, it will uh, pay attention to everything else. For example, okay, Google, turn my fan speed to low. Got it. Setting smart fan fan underscore switch speed to one. Okay, Google. Switch my fan speed to maximum. Sure. Setting smart fan fan underscore switch speed to three. Takes a minute, but okay, Google. Okay, Google. Switch my fan speed to one. To one. Got it. Setting smart fan fan underscore switch speed to one. Hopefully that answers all your guys' questions and you can be happy. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Um, I just kind of do whatever. So, uh, okay, Google, turn off my fan. Sorry, I'm not sure which my fan you'd like to turn off. Okay, Google, turn off my fan LED. Sure. Turning off smart fan switch underscore LED. Google, I hate you.